Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Today we have Bill Brody Good, CEO of Alien Metals, which is an exploration and mining project development company listed on AIM. Hi, Bill. How are you? Uh, morning. Very well, thanks. You released an update about the preparations for phase three drilling at the Hancock uh, project. Do you think you can tell us a bit more about that news? Yeah, sure. Um, we um, yesterday announced to the market uh, having the complete set of results from our phase two drilling program uh, on the Hancock project uh, recently completed. So um, based on those results, which uh, we're extremely pleased with, we are now sort of pushing planning for a next phase of drilling, which will um, add, we hope, um, uh, more potential to the project, um, do some infill and extension work on um, a couple of the main target areas on the, on the ridge system uh, in the, the western area of the tenement to, um, as I say, to hopefully then start uh, developing a, a potentially a second, a second resource to follow on from the, uh, the serious extension resource we're, we're currently working on. And you're expecting the results uh, from this drilling campaign to be ready for Q4. What's the next steps after that? Well, as you know, in tandem with the, with the geology and the, and the resource work and the exploration work, I mean, there's still what's significant, I think, for, for the Hancock tenement is um, specifically for the, the ridge systems we've, we've sort of uncovered and uh, uh, have proved up have significant um, direct shipping or uh, grade material at surface as well is that there's, you know, a lot of uncharted territory within a tenement that we're still uh, excited to go and uh, explore and we feel will have significant upside potential. So there's that. And then also, as these projects, as we start looking at, you know, the mineability, I don't know quite if that's the right word, but but the potential to turn this into a an economic project, we have Mining Plus who are working uh, with us and, and sort of updating their you know high level uh studies at the moment and then we'll push forward with that work uh, as we get more results as we get more uh as i say as we get a resource um defined and then do the associated paperwork and necessary um you know statutory requirements to pursue the the potential for turning this into a, a niche um mining operation in in as, as quickly as we can you know within reason would you look for a partner with this no, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, we're we're, we're explorers, uh, not miners. I mean, we're we're adding, we're looking to add to our team specific uh, experienced people in in more the mining sector rather than um, the exploration sector, so that we can, yeah, you know, we have the best skill set available. But at the same time, always, you know, one has to look in this market at at possible partners. Um, do we do we spin this into a, a separate entity? Um, do we, you know, does someone come along and say, well, actually, that looks very nice. Thank you very much. And um, a large check is presented and um, we've, we've done, hopefully our investors um, done them proud. So, you know, everything's, um, everything's possible uh, with obviously a sensible approach and um, the best return we can get for, for our investors at the moment and going forward. Keeping your options open then. So this isn't the only project you've got. Do you think you can give us an update on the others? Yeah, of course. Um, I think, um, you know, let's not forget that, that Hancock is one of the of two tenements within the, the, the Hammersley Iron Ore project. So um, the, the Brockman tenement to the west, uh, we're still finalising our, our native title um, permissions. Um, and that one does line up also as um, having potentially um, significant mineralisation. So we're... We're excited when we can get on the ground on on, on that one, and then um, of course we also in the, in the same region we've got the Elizabeth Hill um, silver nickel copper project, and we are uh, in the process of our inaugural diamond core drilling on the historic ore body on and around it, and that's going really well. I mean it's it's really tough ground to to drill, but we're we're very fortunate the drillers are really taking their time and and and. Um, Making sure they maximise core recovery. Uh, so really interesting geology and, and mineralisation being being intercepted already, and um, looking forward to advancing that project and and moving that forward as well. So shareholders can expect to hear uh, news on uh, multiple fronts then. Yeah, absolutely. And you know we're always we are working hard in the background to to obviously keep things moving. COVID is still 
sadly an issue for, for a lot of countries and a, a lot of operations in terms of, um, you know, delays in, um, in getting equipment and in availability of people, in movement of people too. I mean, honestly, I, I don't want to be sitting in the UK at the moment. No offence to anybody. I'd rather be out at Elizabeth Hill on the drill rig or up on, uh, on Hancock uh, roaming the hills finding our next uh, drill targets. But um, we're fortunate to have a team in, in Australia that we're able to do that. Uh, likewise, the guys in um, Mexico um, are also doing what they can to, to keep things moving there to, um, as we've already, as we've talked about, um, get those permits, those drill permits in place to be able to, to carry on work in, in Mexico as well. So working on all fronts, doing what we can, um, being, being as practical and sensible as possible, you know, due to care to all our, our staff and consultants, so making sure everyone's safe, uh, comes home safe, um, but, you know, driving projects forward as, as best we can. I can imagine. Thanks, Bill, uh, for taking the time to talk to us today, and uh, we look forward to your next update. Well, that's great, and I appreciate your time today, and we look forward to updating uh, everyone and, and, you know, turning, especially at the moment, Hancock sort of turning in into something um, really exciting in, in the not-too-distant future. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.